Now for these questions, we need to make fraction bonds to one. So first, one fifth plus what is equal to one whole? Well, let's show one fifth in our fraction bar. What do we need to add so that our whole fraction bar is colored in? Well, if we color in the rest of our fraction bar in yellow, we can see that four fifths, so four parts out of five, are now colored in yellow. So one fifth plus four fifths is one whole. Because one fifth of our fraction bar is blue, four fifths is yellow, and that means that the whole fraction bar is now colored in. Remember, one whole is the same as five fifths. Here, because we've got five parts out of five colored in, either blue or yellow, we've got one whole fraction bar that's been colored in. So now, five eighths plus what is equal to one whole? Well, we can show five eighths in blue, and then if we color the rest in yellow, we can see that three eighths or three parts out of eight of our fraction bar is yellow. So five eighths plus three eighths is equal to one whole, because remember, one whole is the same as eight eighths. In this fraction bar, we've got eight pieces, and all of those pieces are colored in, so we've got one whole fraction bar colored in. You'll also spot one plus four is five, and five plus three is eight. That's because if you add one fifth and four fifths, you get five fifths, but that's the same as one. And if you add five eighths and three eighths, you get eight eighths, and that's also the same as one. So when the numerator and denominator are the same, you have one whole. So four sevenths plus what is equal to one? Well, we can show four sevenths in blue, and then we can see that to color in our whole fraction bar, we need to color in another three sevenths. Two thirds plus what is one? Well, if we show two thirds, we need to color in one more third to make one whole colored in. And again, notice four sevenths plus three sevenths is seven sevenths, and two thirds plus one third is three thirds. If you have a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are the same, you always have one whole. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.